welcome to a spooktacular mixed media Monday. Ah, ah, ah. With Ophelia, you're always in for a treat. Get out your creepy acrylics, your journal of nightmares, and of course, Auntie Jerry's jumbo jet pencil. Get out your broomstick, uh, I mean paintbrush, and join in on the fun. Are you up for the challenge this Mixed Media Monday? Ah, ah, ah. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday, our special Halloween edition of Mixed Media Monday. And today we want to talk about all things scary. Um, for my supplies today, it's super simple. I just have some Lucas Krill paints, um, a variety, some orange, some red. I tried to keep it within a Halloween theme, although we're not going to create a Halloween page if you'll... Remember last year we did our scaredy cat and I had, and I had my guest designer Jamie on. Um, and so this year I thought I would not try to tackle the scaredy cat on my own. Um, but I want to keep it a Halloween theme, but not Halloween-ish, if that makes sense. So my supplies are super simple. And if you want to delve into all things scary or fear then you just keep on watching i don't know why i keep doing this but keep on watching <laughs> okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is just get this background covered um because like i said i want to keep it simple i want i think i want to like divvy my page between like dark to one side and then some light over here. And um, I've got myself a few pieces of ephemera that I think I want to use. Um, and so I know I wanna put a quote somewhere on this page. Um, so we're just gonna talk our way through getting this page um, covered in paint really. And so I'm just going to just kind of dig into some yellow um i honestly other than knowing that it's halloween and looking at what scares us so maybe the first thing that should scare all of us is the fact that i never really have a plan and i think that's the way um i treat my abstract paints and i think that's why i like painting abstract so much is that there is never really a plan i just kind of show up there's no road map i just kind of do what feels great um but then when i'm on in my journal you know i think it it flows again with just honestly not having a plan i just kind of roll with it and see what happens and but it, then it's kind of hard to talk like i have a plan when i don't have a plan so we're going to talk about um things that scare us and in true fashion i honestly should be painting on a canvas because um, not very long ago, a canvas was one that just truly um, scared me. And I know it's, you know, we always see that like um, fears are like silly, but when you're going through it, it was like I could not make myself paint on a canvas and I don't know why. And so I literally, um, I wish I could even remember how I got my way over it, but I just, I just, I think I just started. Um, and so now I can't even imagine life or anything without playing on a canvas sometimes. And I think one thing that helps me with all of it and even all of the fear is just realizing that it's honestly all just play. So when we think about things that scare us, um, what is it that scares you? Is it using a new material? Is it you're afraid that you might mess something up? Is it, um, wow, this is drying really quickly, so that might save us, because I just realized I don't think I remembered the dryer, but is it being afraid of messing things up? Um, if you are, then the best thing for you to do is, and the beautiful thing about a journal is, you just flip the page and you start over. If you decide that you just can't live with the page, then 
you just gesso over it and you get a brand new start. Um, maybe you are afraid of, I don't know, ruining your precious art supplies. And I'm just using some ink because I think while this is still wet, I am going to splatter some things around. And, um, but are you just afraid of maybe like your ruining your precious supplies or um, anything like that. I think for me, I just don't, I try as best as I can because I had to learn the hard way not to treat my supplies as precious and treat the whole experience as play. But I'm gonna dry this up and I'm gonna come right back and just keep adding some layers. So I'll be right back. Dryer, dryer, dryer. Boo. So I guess I should say another thing that I'm honestly afraid of, and I know it's it's kind of ridiculous, but I just don't like using black paint um, because I, I, I can't control how it takes over my page. So a lot of times I will just use Payne's Gray, but for you guys, I'm going to try. And so I think that honestly is Payne's gray but here we go okay I think I've got some black and oh I just I don't know what it is about it I don't usually use it on its own you know what Ophelia here we go why are we talking why are we talking let's just go let's let's just go and so um I guess what I'm trying to say here is that your fear and yes when we're going through it it's very real however <clears throat> i want you to um just don't I, I guess i'm trying to say just enjoy the process um and then everything else works its way out regardless of <clears throat> like i said whether you're afraid of ruining something whether you're afraid that it won't be perfect rather you're afraid that it won't look like what you have in your head that it should um, I th we all have that, and, um, oh, Philia, see, I can't control what black does, because that should, but you know what, we're just going to roll with it. Um, rather it is, I can't talk while I paint, so that's another fear, but, um, rather it is that maybe whatever you're trying to do just won't, does not look like it does in your head and that's okay too because you you get to dictate what you I don't I don't have words for what I'm trying to say other than saying that it's your creation so you get to make it look however you really want it to look and it's okay if you can't necessarily translate out of your head onto a piece of paper um, like clearly in my head I thought this was going to look different and now it does not and I'm just going to tell you it was a part of the plan so I'm going to keep going but um what I want to say is if at all possible don't let your fear um make you not want to create don't let your fear of whatever it is out there um keep you from doing what you love and if creating is what you love then it's that's that's all we're concerned about I don't know where I'm going with this but I feel like now I've gone too far so I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna come back and fix some of this situation after I fix a lot of this situation over here all right I'm gonna let this dry no, no, I'm not. I'm going to do one more thing. <clears throat> and I want to bring in some, like, splotchy red. And let's just see here. Maybe drag some of that black into, I don't know, because then, okay. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry, ruined that. I'm going to scrape some of that back. All right. Maybe. Hmm. You don't always have to know what you're doing. The, the important thing is, I guess, 
you just kind of keep going. Let me just see what happens if... Oh! Uh-huh, you smear red everywhere. You, I planned that, and that's not moving. So, I'm going to dry up the rest of this, and then I'll be back to resolve some deeper issues with what we have going on here. It's crooked. Boo. I'm going to try to bring this back. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm bringing it. See, watch. Because this came too far. So, um, that is true. You can always start over with things, I guess. Like we're about to cue the music. Let's audition. I don't know why, but I'm trying to see. I don't think I even want. Do I? Maybe I do. Kind of impromptu. I know. I know. I want him because. Can you see? Can we? Yeah, I know. Cause he just always like this guy. Just looks as though he's giving you a not a judgy face but like a concerned get your you need to get your sheet together face <clears throat> and so um i love this collage sheet because it just kind of gosh it just reminds me that like it's not, it's honestly not even that serious like i overthink and that's one thing that that scares me maybe you guys can relate to the whole like <clears throat> sometimes I just get so annoyed with my work that I just want to close my studio door and just be done forever. Um, and then I, I flip through and I see images like this and this guy's face just reminds me like, you know, dude, it's not really even that serious. This is, this is supposed to be fun and um, it's honestly supposed to just be play. And so um, even if we are afraid and even if we are overthinking and um, feeling as though we're doing everything wrong, um, you just have to remember that it's just play. And there's honestly, there's no real need to be fearful. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my take on it all. And so... Um, you just do the art anyway. And that's why I just keep on going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oops. Oh my God. A little stuck. A little, little, little stuck. I sure hope we have enough music on the cube because I don't even feel as though I'm making much sense and his head is gonna be off, and that's okay too. Whew. I've got scissors somewhere. I'll cut him off later. I'm gonna worry about it later. I think I could do, oh wait, who am I talking to? <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm back. Because I think I'm done. Um, I may, after my ink dry, probably not, because usually when I'm done, I'm done and I'm over it. But I'm thinking I may, I thought I was done, but then I saw something else, so I'm not done. Um, but what I keep thinking is I may come back at, um, nope already admitted that I never come back so this is kind of awkward but let's just say I'm literally I'm, I'm done I'm not um I'm not gonna revisit this I'm 
okay with the way that it turned out. Actually, I'm honestly okay with the way that it turned out because it's just a journal page. And the beautiful part is we literally, five minutes from now or tomorrow, we flip the page and we can start over. So um, it's just a glorious thing. I feel like now I'm about to be philosophical and there's no time for that in, in our show. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to put this palette down. And th that's a palette knife, not a palette. But now I'm back. I'm back. Oof. This has been one amazing show. So if, oh my God. This has been the greatest show to complete for today. I'm allergic to ghosts. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching to the end. I challenge you to do something in your art that scares you today. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Welcome to a spooktacular mixed media Monday. Ah, ah, ah. With Ophelia, you're always in for a treat. Get out your creepy acrylics, your journal of nightmares, and of course, Auntie Jerry's jumbo jet pencil. Get out your broomstick, uh, I mean paintbrush, and join in on the fun. Are you up for the challenge this mixed media Monday? Ah, ah, ah. You guys are, you guys need to get your sheets together. Um, we're done. We're done. Cue the music.